Great here, welcome back to Tales of Majael with Agatha. So, where we last left off, we're in the old forest, uh, trying to finish off this portion of the next quest. And let's just get right into it. One thing I think I'm going to do, actually, is I noticed I have a, a category point that I haven't yet spent. So, shut up, birds! So what I'm... I said shut up, birds! Wow, they're getting louder and louder and louder. There we go. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up War Cries uh, right away. Um, it goes with the theme of of a Viking warrior, you know, that, that I'm going for. And I just want to get that category point spent. It's not doing anything for me just sitting there. So, yeah, let's accept this. Okay. Also, uh, this is going to come out in the middle of my... Factorio run. However, the I've, I've recorded a ton of videos there, but in the middle of, of recording those videos, I've actually switched recording codecs. I'm hoping that the Tome videos will lose that uh, that dropping that's been happening. Um, hopefully, I'm I'm not too sure if it's going to happen, but I'm hoping it will. And this is the first video with that. We'll see how it goes. There we go. It's, let's see, to the south. Nope. <laughs> okay, and another level. Yay. Okay, let's get our three stat points in. Class points. We do have war cries now. So what's the first war cry that we could have? Release a powerful shout doing 75 physical damage in a radius of 4 cone in front of you. At level 5, the shout is so strong, it shatters all incoming projectiles caught inside. So this would be a good AoE, which I'm actually kind of lacking right now. Um, so yeah, let's pick up... Oh, hold on, let's see what else I can grab. Um... Repost, I don't want to get. Shield Slam. Um, more damage on Shield Slam would be nice, but what's this? I do be more resistant to some spell effects. Well, since I picked it up, let's grab that. Okay. Generic points. Uh, increase accuracy. Increase physical power. We can actually get our last a point in conditioning. Uh, your physical power by five for four, four bleh, by five for three turns. While the effect is active, you may continue to fight beyond the point of exhaustion. So it's more stamina. But I'm not really running out of stamina right now. So let's just go for the basics and get an increase to our physical power. And here, oh my God, here come the birds again. I swear, birds, I'm a personal friend of Odin. I will have them kick your butt. Uh, dodge that. Oh, he's going to keep shooting anyway. Um, while I'm dodging, let's pick up the regen so I can just charge in. There we go. Well, that Ent was easy enough to kill. Can I... No, nope, he moved. But I can get the leather armor. He moved again. No, he didn't. There we go. And a quick kill. Door. This is probably another one of those. Yeah. And since I've already taken care of one of these. But what I can do is do a war cry. Raw! <laughs> oh, nice. That war card made that a lot easier. Just clear out these uh, poison ivies. We get an acidic great mall of massacre. And down to the next level. Is there anything that I might want to keep? Spiked. 
No, I'm already on heavier armor. Yeah, there's nothing in here I want to keep. Zeria the Bee Swarm. Really? Oh, well, come here. What the? Okay, I definitely have to attack him. F well, that was easy enough. Okay, I'll take it. What is this? Grass, tree... I can't highlight it, or did I... Oh, I killed it. That's why. Oh, huh, okay. Well, that was easy enough. My charge is on cooldown still. Okay, I... Those crystals that bounce all over the place are quite annoying. Level 15. Well, I'm not going to do that, so... Okay, so now that these have built up, I'm actually going to... No, five. Yes. I'm going to roar that way to get rid of them. Mule Steel Ring of Blight. Well, right now I need to regen and back off. There. Charge into him. Isu Danor, the Red Crystal Mass. Well, you're still gonna die, just saying. Ash, Mage Staff, Blind Panic. Too bad I don't use Mage Staffs, right? Okay. So, another crystal which I can charge. Let's get out of that water. That crystal teleported. Nope, there he is. Still can't charge. And he's gonna throw water around. There we go. No, you! Stop it! There, now I can charge into him. There. Those trees are kind of annoying because they keep spawning the bees. Nope. Not ah, good. He teleported somewhere I can charge. Another bee. Copper Ring of Clarity. Maybe I shouldn't have gone into the middle of the, the water. That probably wasn't the best idea. Uh, let's go back to here. Nope, can't charge into him. And this is Insidious Poison from the Warg. It's just a, a plain old Warg. Got it. And shout at the mass. One more close. And here we go again. Oh, my stamina dropped. Interesting. So I'm actually getting to the point now where I need a bit more stamina regen. Good to know. Wait, how much stamina does this take, anyway? This takes 25 stamina. So let's wait two turns. There we go. Now let's... Sh nope. Let them stack up. Now let's shout. And again, there's... 
shouts back up, but I'm going to let it. The reason I'm doing this is uh, if, if I shouted as soon as it came off a of cooldown and I have the stamina, when I shout, my sustains would go off, would shut down. And I don't want that to happen. But that shout really is helping clear out these snakes. And that looks like a named... No, it's just a black mamba. Okay. Okay, I do not want to move any further forward. That would... Open me up to multiple attacks. King Cobra. And a rattlesnake. Okay. I thought there might be a, might have been a named in there. I guess not. Disaster. Does my title not tell you enough? Okay. Well, I'll worry about that later. And down to the next level. Actually, I want to look at these this way first because uh, I do have decks uh, of Blight. Gives me a little more damage, resistances, ma more encumbrance, which I don't really need. Mental save, confusion. Steady Ash Bow of Fire. Can I wield this? Miss, missing dependency. Okay, so I cannot wield that. And blind panic, I can't do anything. Or well, I, I don't use it. Restful leather goes with dexterity. Yeah, steel plate. Icy iron shield of fire resistance. What's my shield currently? Yeah, I, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not replacing my shield. Okay, Summertide Fail, Brass Lantern, Dormire. Dowermire. One of the two. Damage when hit, melee, plus <laughs> four darkness. More on hit damage. Um, call Light. I'm not sure if I want the Light. Will. More resistance. Uh, and a Light Radius of two, while well, this has a Light Radius of four. Well, what I am going to do is I'm going to move this one to normal inventory. And we're just going to keep it around for now. Yeah, I don't see anything else I want to keep. Okay, let's go. Although, stacking more on hit damage would just be hilarious. I don't know if it's viable in the long run, but I find it amusing for the time being. Shut up, birds! Fact, jeez. Audio options. Uh, I don't want to drop it too much further down. Okay, well, we'll deal with it. I look like I'm in an aura, but... Stabilizing Copper, Amulet of Dexterity. I've got a Constitution of plus two. Painting Knockback. Okay, hold on, let's check this. So, more... Temporal Resistance, a little more... Knockback immunity and dexterity. Yeah, let's swap this one out. I'll keep the uh, the stabilizing though. Wait, wait. Did I just mess up my stats? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't click there. K, okay. C. No. Um. Well, I'll figure it out in a minute. 
I think what happened is I was remembering a different set of uh, stats that I wanted. I'm not sure if I want dexterity on this tune. Another mage staff, really? Okay. Let's shout this way so I can catch more of a minute. What is this? Wet, magical water, saturation, okay. Um. So, Firestorm. Let's get out of the Firestorm. That's in the Firestorm. Okay, he's coming up here. Let's heal up. I can charge into him again. Get my regen going. Oh, wow, that was the final boss of this area. Nice. Into the Darkness is unlocked. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like I was improving these three. So, grabbing the Dex necklace. Basically, I was swapping to the stats that I want anyway. Which is fine. Okay, so I've got one class point, one generic point. So this will give me uh, more damage and a larger radius. Uh, I'll leave that for the time being. I really needed to pick up more stamina recovery. Is this my stamina recovery? Yes, it is. So let's grab more stamina. And on, on the generic point, stick with the basics. Let's just get that physical until I'm capped out. And let's see what loot I get. Steel Helm of Garkul. One of the greatest orcs that ever lived. Okay. Well, considering my current helm is... Where's my current helm? Just a constitution leather cap. This might be a lot better. Okay. More armor. A little more fatigue. Plus five strength, plus four will, plus five constitution, so I get three more constitution. Plus ten physical damage. Talent mastery, plus twenty technique for thuggery, which I don't have. And a bunch of extra saves. I will definitely wear that. There we go. Warm mass. Yeah, it's all the way over there. And my charge isn't done. Steel Great Sword of the Mystic. Let's try to get this guy behind us. Regenerate. Yeah. Definitely the better move to clear the clear the path out. We'll get up to 30, then we'll use the shout. Oh, that's right, I got more stamina regeneration now. Sounds like my dog. Okay, it doesn't. What is it with this, this area with, like, masses of snakes and wolves and wargs? But again, this is this is the type of thing that the Arcane Blade, uh, Arcane Blade would love with that, that proccing uh, lightning attack. It, it would just rip through all of these. There we go. Steel Amulet of Soul Searing. Uh, more damage. 
crit critical multiplier and spell power. Mm. I'm going to keep my current one. Yep, there's the Venus flytrap. Oh, it took me backwards. There. Let's charge in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm starting to go too fast again. Oh, good. How did I kill... How did I kill the ant? Uh, oh, the ant attacked me. That's why. And the on hit killed the ant. Got it. Now I can charge that ant. I like how the fire ants have actual fire, which is not fun. Shimmering, another staff, which I'm not worried about. And, oops, bear, trees, stuff. There we go. Okay, now I can, I can counterattack because I'm not running into or uh, going to be hit by more than one. Let's get that tree taken care of. There we go. I'm afraid... Uh, no great friend of the mages. Some powers. Blakes. Okay. Of course my charge is down. Ah, but I was able to get to him. To the exit. Does this take me right back out? Okay, Sun Fusion of the Titan. I might want to keep this one. Mage Staff, Mage Staff, Staff. No, everything else we can just sell. Ah, it does take me right back out. To a new area? Chartul Fortress. With water on blood, I have I haven't got the keys here, but I never the door. I was unprepared. The trees I could avoid the water I traverse, but beyond horrors, tentacles blazing white that burned in an instant. Huh. Okay. Well, either this area is going to kill me or it's not. But either way, what I should do. Let's check and see what this says. Uh, great, just a short tool. And I've got the maze and the old forest. I still need the sandworm lair and Daikara for Into the Darkness. So what I'm probably going to do is go back through the old forest, back to the previous area, and look for those two and complete those. Because I think this is a this might be a higher level area. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to put a cut in here. Seems like a good stopping point. Have fun.